I'm fed up with people banging on about leadership on LinkedIn. Let me take a moment to explain to you why. If you look on LinkedIn, there are a million articles about being a better leader, getting the best out of your teams, but there's hardly anything about working with other human beings as part of a team. Now, anyone who has any knowledge about teams or even any experience of working one will know that there are far more team members than there are team leaders. So why this apparent obsession with becoming a leader or positioning yourself as one? Maybe it's about the glamour of standing up in front of people and being visible. But if there's one thing I've learned recently, it's that behind every visible team leader, there are 10 more people standing behind that team leader doing jobs that are almost invisible and nearly always under-recognised. Sure, we need to have police officers to stop people doing stupid stuff, paramedics and ambulance drivers to get us to hospital, and doctors and nurses to make us well again. But we also need hospital porters to push people around, cleaners to stop infections from spreading and to dispose of contaminated waste safely, supermarket workers to keep the shelves stocked, security guards to stop people from abusing the supermarket workers and to kick them out if they do. We need delivery drivers to bring stuff to our houses and we need them all to turn up and do their jobs well with the minimum of fuss. If all of these people stopped doing their invisible jobs, things would start to go bad pretty quickly. So today for you, I have one suggestion and one question. Here's the suggestion. Today, how about recognising someone who otherwise would be invisible? The next time you're in the supermarket, thank the person stacking the shelves. The next time you see someone cleaning a public space, thank them for keeping that space tidy and hygienic. The next time you put the bins out, stick a note on top to say thank you. And here's the question. Given that every team needs multiple members and just one leader, and given that we need people in these invisible jobs, why do so many people seem obsessed with becoming a leader or positioning themselves as leaders? If everyone who wants to be a leader is successful in their aim, who's going to be left to do the actual work? Are we too much in love with leadership? What do you think?